Hey there folks, Rinium T here and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV and Walker in the last part. We did some stuff for the Omicrons, figured out what was go going on, and we lost Graha Tia. So, it is time to forge ahead. That crystalline path, Graha has paved it for us. Difficult as it is, we must carry on for our friends and all who await us in faith. So come, let's seek the past beginning. It appears to be near the outpost. It's a fun fact. The path exists, even when it's invisible, you just there's an invisible wall to get onto it. But if you can get onto it via someone flying you there, then he can walk on air, basically. Can I do this? Please say yes. Thank you. Look, Arya, a portal is opened. It will surely deliver us true. It must. This is the initial wall, like this is blocked off until you unlock it, but you can get flown over to this platform and flown onto the path. And yeah. Well, here's where the path begins and ascends to dizzying heights. Let's make our way one step at a time. Ow. Our friends got us this far. Their courage, their strength, their wisdom, their love. We owe it to them to continue, no matter how long it takes. Alethanel and Alize are now accompanying you. Keep them at your side in order to proceed with the quest objectives. Do you know what it means I'm doing? I'm sorry, I'm ruining the moment by doing on the bike, but if you think I'm walking, I'm not. I've done the walk. Crib would scout the road ahead. Shilla and Oriange would trade opinions of esoteric subjects. Graha would join in their discussion, or else chat with me and Alize about the mission. Samuel would be at the rear, apart yet present. All the while, you would come and go wherever you were needed, and together we would travel. All I can hear are my footfalls, my heartbeat. It's so much quieter now. But the fact we can breathe and continue on is proof that the others are still with us. They are. They are. Aren't they? Right. Yeah, I've done the walk. I ain't doing it again. Okay. It's all a dream, isn't it? A long, elaborate dream? Any moment now, I wake up in my bed, still a student, grandfather alive. I go about my day relieved as the fragments of the uh, other life faded away. And that would be happiness, wouldn't it? But none of it, no. No, I won't give up these experiences. Good and bad, they are mine. They are me. The portal is barely visible from up here. Truly we've come far, much farther than would have been possible had we kept chasing perfect ideals as we did in the past. It is because we have known failure and frustration that we have learned and grown from them that Heidelin has entrusted us with this mission, with the fate of the very star. assured I'm fine, but thank you for your concern. What of you? Uh, though we can't afford to be too leisurely, neither need we rush unduly. We've crossed an impossible distance to stand where we are now, and we're but a few steps away from journey's end. It'll be over before we know it. Me? Oh, I still have plenty of legs left in me, don't you worry. It's you I'm worried about. You always push yourself so hard for us, for everyone. And while we're here, we'll make sure to bear our share of the burden.
Well, this is it. The end of the path and the beginning of whatever awaits. There will be greater hardships. We may be well and we may be made to feel powerless. You come what may, let us have no regrets. No let us have pride in what we have achieved. In what we have achieved and how it changes for the better. That's worth fighting for and dying for. As they did. There are some structures up ahead. Still ways to go before we reach the dead star. Given all this, I know how naive it must sound to hope it all works out somehow. Still, you'll forgive me if I wish for all to be the, all the same, and for you most of all. Not that you of all people need it, it's just after all the help you've given me, for once, I want to be the one to help you. Normal? It's not unlike many cities we know, but it's deathly quiet. Mayhap the inhabitants are within the buildings or invisible to our senses. Wrong on both counts. There's simply no one here. Medion. This is how I found it when I arrived. Another star which once pulsed with life, but no longer. How it ended, I do not know. Invasion, sickness, suicide, none can say. None live to speak for the dead. They are gone, gone. Search all you like, but you only end up turning back. There is no one here, then neither should there be a motion to bar our way. Yet yeah, Medion seems convinced we'll turn back. What riddle is this? You're not alone. Whatever Medion may have said, we should confirm it with our own eyes. We need to have a look around. Indeed, at the very last, at the very least, it doesn't appear to be a sprawling place like those before. We split up, it shouldn't take too long to cover the area. I guess I'll do this damage point right here. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. I mean, perhaps you could try calling out. Is anyone here? If anyone has heard you, they don't respond. The object resembles a tree and appears to have been fashioned from a stone-like material. Erected in place of an actual tree or to serve some other purpose, perhaps. Regardless, there is no one left to explain, to tell the story. Were it not for the thick layer of dust, one could imagine someone drinking from these cups but moments ago. So that one up here. I'm struggling to find all six of these last time. This place is reminiscent of a bar, but neither patrons nor staff are anywhere to be seen. Egg-shaped containers line the shelves with a few loose few sitting on the counter. Vessels for the beverages, in all likelihood. Venue bustling with activity until it was not. Okay, 
here there's one. I'll say it's back there. In the distance, you glimpse Alize picking your way through the ruins, but otherwise find no signs of life. Don't even hear me! Say something! Your call echoes faintly before being swallowed by the silence. Set slightly off the ground, this appears to be a door, while the objects to the left could be leather boxes. The door is rusted shut, and the film of dust over all over suggests no one has come through in a long, long time. Take a look at this. If the row was any a little longer, we could just take it to just beneath the dead sun. I suppose this is where the reconstruction ends. How about you? Did you find anything of interest? I see. I know it's the same things. Cups left on tables, chairs out of place. I don't know what happened here, but I do know I don't want to be alone anymore. We've searched enough for now. Let's find Alpha Note and compare what we've learned. Did you find anything? No. This place is completely deserted. And I can't see how we're supposed to move on from here. Neither can I. It's quite the quandary. There are no denizens to bar our path, yet there is no way forward. For another mystery, we did find signs of very recent life. You'd swear everyone just vanished into thin air. I wonder how many ruined worlds like this has Meteon seen. Ah. Oh. Could it be? Yes. Yes, I believe I may have puzzled this out. Despite how it appears, it's no different this time. There is someone here who has wished for this ruin. And I believe that together, Alizé and I can overcome their will. your parents I'd keep you safe I know I know but if there is a chance this will work then I would take it for everyone and for myself I will not pretend otherwise I have my fears Not for myself, but for you, the last to remain. You are no stranger to carrying the burden of others. But I can only imagine how heavy the weight would be this time. As your friend, I cannot bear the thought of making you suffer so. Suggest such a thing. 
It's too much to ask of anyone, even her. Why must she be the one? Why must she fight alone? More than a hero, she's a dear friend. Not only to us, but to so many others. There are so many people in the world who care for you, and yet... And yet... <laughs> Alizé, I have an idea. Given the nature of this realm, it may be possible to do more than unbar our friend's path. We might also pave her a new one. For instance, a path where she finds happiness at journey's end. This much? I think we can believe with the utmost conviction, no matter how deep our despair. So please, believe in us too, and press on. Thank you. What are you? If the plan's decided, then let's not dally. Ah, there you are. It was as I said, was it not? It was. We couldn't find anyone. But this place isn't entirely deserted, is it? You are here. You sought out a star of promise and found a ruined husk. Like us, you explored the devastation. Like us, you were stricken. Horrified by the thought that so many lives could be snuffed out as if they were worth nothing. And the thought that you would have to bear the terrible tidings to Hermes. That which you saw and felt, you shared with your sisters. As did they share their own grim findings with you. Overcome by the pervasive despair of these stars, some of you inadvertently ushered their peoples to their ends. Knowing the horrors you know, anyone would feel the same. They would fear what lies ahead and struggle to move forward. Fear? I had forgotten that such a thing existed. So focused have I been on shepherding despair. If you can remember, then you can still face and overcome your own fear. Why would I bother with such an insignificant emotion? If the despair I command is as a raging river, then fear is but a trickling stream. It can do nothing to alter my flow. You spoke with the Aya, yes? Heard their tale of what awaits the universe. It's true. The stars grow colder and more distant. Eventually, all will enjoy frozen solitude. Using the power of Dynamis, I'm hastening that process. In so doing, nothing will be born ever again. Everyone will remain dead. Alas, it will take time for that to happen. 
So in mercy, I sent you my gift. To spare you needless suffering. Don't worry. Even if no living witnesses remain to mark the event, I'll make certain that Atheris has a proper end. For all the power you wield, you're more fearful than the familiar you used to be. That Meteon feared simply to move forward. But your fear is such that you've given up on everything. I know it well. That sense of defeat. I've tasted my fair share of it. But as many times as we've fallen down, we've learned how to pick ourselves up and carry on. We take each other's hand, share in each other's courage, follow in each other's footsteps, and turn sorrow into strength. There are times when we fail. We bear wounds that do not heal. But these experiences are part of life, and they make us stronger. We rise, fall, and, and rise, rise again. again. Take the next step, and all the rest after that. Please, please, oh, please let them all be safe. <gasps> Cryle, are you all right? It's nothing. Just a headache. Oh, they'll be fine. I know they will. Apologies for the interruption. A man arrived on the last ferry. An associate of the Scions. He wishes to speak with you at once.
in this city devoid of life, you sense the presence of another. The sorrow of a thousand, thousand worlds weighs heavy, and yet you can walk on. Actions due to area restrictions. If you need a push, I'll be right there behind you. Do not despair. You are not without allies. What we have sown in blood. We have ripped in suffering, and it cannot go on. Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never abandon our cause. While it is true that man succumbs all too often to anger and avarice, he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. And we, for our part, are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. Save your tears for the morn. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. From tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. A future shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never have foreseen. Yet miracles do happen, so let us pray and will our friends home. I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. Strong art thou, mortal. Look for the light within, that you may continue to serve as a beacon to others. Let's finish this. Here, the path ends. There is no way to reach our nest. I told you. Resignation and acceptance reign in this place. The rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled, whose prayers were unheard, whose labors were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. 
Such is the nature of this place. You should have remained on the Theris. Struggle will avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. Come, let me relieve you of your burden. You have suffered enough. Asm's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace with you? That's why it's too soon for this to end. There are so many people in the world. You must triumph. Be safe, all of you, and come back. I am ever grateful. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. Do not squander it, the legacy I leave you. I bid them remember, but all this time I'm the one who had forgotten. A right fool you've made of me, Hermes. And to add insult to injury, I've been denied a sound rest, forced to watch this clamorous show. Oh, come now. It's been a gripping tale. Unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice, sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos. It's got it all. I, for one, would have been perfectly content to watch enraptured from the storms. But I won't say no to a bit part. What are you? Half-faded souls of the dead. Isn't it painfully obvious? Worry not. We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not any more. That being said, we do have a score to settle. So here I am, Venar. I suppose you needed me to tie it all together, these frayed threads of our history. But knowing you, I suspect there's a joke in it, too. Oh, yes, I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you had left room for the possibility of this outcome. Even so, you'll get no applause from me. A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. Still, you must be commended. Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration.
you will not end our journey. That is our answer. The answer of all lives of Atheris, past and present. As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail to please. Drawing upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a new path. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus, focus, and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. Ours is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create. Meteor, though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet, learn to walk and run, and so much more. A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. These Alpus blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair. In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. So go on. Call them back to your side. How disappointing. Not even a single scar in the making to brag about. <laughs> You'll find a way regardless. Honestly, this is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Let us be thankful. Indeed. That we thus stand reunited is a gift. Let us not squander it, and see that we all return to Etheris. Aye, as soon as we've averted the final days. Good to see you again. Our heroic sacrifice paid off, I take it. Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it, together.
Can you... hear me? The voice is within. Crying in pain. Wailing in sorrow. Hurting. Hurting. End it. Silence it! Silence our song of oblivion! The way is open. They can proceed. So it seems. You're leaving? Of course. The Encore is finished, and I will not suffer myself to live again by Heidling's magic. But more than that, the future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. But though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate, invincible. Spare me your pity. I have no use for it. If you would do something for me, save our star. See this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and with elation in your hearts, bid the final curtain fall. Only then may it rise again, and a new tale begin, with new parts for all to play. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's North? The fabled golden cities of the New World? The sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles? What about Mericidia, the southern continent, do you know aught of its present state of affairs? I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. All of which is to say, expand your horizons, go forth and seek discovery. Some of the civilizations in the Reflections will surprise you. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. I certainly did. I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then perhaps another.
whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, don't be that way. say to the man. In retrospect, it always felt like the wrong thing. But the past notwithstanding, he came to your aid in your moment of need. We are here, and we will not squander this chance he has given us. We will see this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and bid the final curtain fall. And with that, we can fly! Already, we're already at what, almost 50 minutes, and the upcoming is gonna be long, 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 long because. And Walker. We're at the end! So, thank you for watching. In the next part, we will finish the expansion. So, yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I hope it's a lot of cutscenes. I didn't want to interrupt the You're Not Alone sequence, so I just wanted to let it go. I, I, I was about to cry, okay. That is the, like, gut punch sequence for me, okay? <laughs> With the music and the voices. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. If you really enjoyed it, consider supporting the channel. All the support really helps to keep being content like this and more. You can find the links for that in the description, along with links to me on social media. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, we walk unto the end. This is Rhenium T, signing out. Bye!